to another video. Today I actually went back to Five Below and I actually found a whole bunch of cool items, not only for tech and gaming, but also some stuff for the summer and awareness. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a huge gamer, so any type of gaming um, item that I have, I like to purchase it. And by the way, if you have if you've not seen my videos before, this is Luna. She is my new kitten. She is a brat. <laughs> anyway, um, so she's about 12, uh, 12 weeks old right now. She's going to be 13 soon. Um, so you may see her pop in and out of these videos. So just like you saw my ferrets, if you don't like my ferrets and you don't like my cat, please leave my channel because... Trust me, they stay. My, my children stay. Anyway, anyway, um, so I know a lot of people are going on and on about these amiibos that I've never actually physically owned an amiibo before. And while I was at Five Below, I found amiibos. I found a lot of amiibos. Like, a lot. Like, a lot of them. And these are actually super cute. And... So yeah, I have never owned Amiibos before, so these are my very first one. I got these for $5 each, which is not bad, especially since they can get as high as $20. Um, I know these are super old, but you know what? They're a start, and I like to... Hi, Luna. Um, I like to at least get started on my Amiibo collection, especially since I've been playing Super Mario Odyssey, and I heard that each Amiibo actually gives you like certain things. Like some will give you coins, some will give you hearts. So, I mean, I just thought, like, you know what? Let me just start with these four and see how it goes. And I will do a game plan, uh, a gameplay on them when I get to these. I did finally beat Super Mario Odyssey, but now I'm at the point where I'm going to collect all of the stars and all of the, um, items and stuff so we're gonna get there um but i do want to show you what each one does like when i get there so let's go ahead and open these amiibos and uh see what they have i'm gonna start with kirby because this is pretty cute i i i mean i've been watching a lot of people with these amiibos online and they're pretty adorable i'm just like so excited because i've been wanting to get amiibos for a while and i'm just it, it's it's adorable look at that oh my god it's so cute and they're actually really well detailed too, which I like. I heard over the years they've gotten better, so let's see. Yep. Here is Princess Peach. I have, the, I know they have a better version of her, but I mean, at least I have something. And I heard that any Peach amiibo and the Super Mario Odyssey, they give you like, I think she gives you like full hearts. I think it's like any version. And then this is Lucas from Super Smash Bros. And this is, I don't know how to say this name. It's Rua? Rua? If you know who this guy is, please let me know if I'm saying it right. Uh, Ru Ru Rula? R-Y-U. That's, that's all I know. But yeah, I mean, these... Luna, I'm going to drop these, so I hope you're not down there. I'm like slowly pushing them to the edge. Okay, she moved. So yeah, these are like the cutest little freaking amiibos that I have ever had, and I know my cat's now playing with them. But look at these; these are so cute. I'm so excited. Um, I can't wait to game play test them in the new in my uh, Super Mario Odyssey game. Um, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's a start to my amiibo collection. It's a start, and I eventually do want to collect a, a lot of amiibos. Um, I do want to get certain ones that are actually on my Amazon list and everything. So as soon as I get those in, I'll definitely do an unboxing video for those. But as of now, at least I have four to start off with. And I'm really excited. I'm really excited to find out like how well the Peach does in the Super Mario Odyssey. So, but yeah, I just wanted to open these up and show you. These are my very first ones. So I'm so excited. So yeah. So we're going to go ahead and put these to the side. And then I did pick up some more other stuff. So this is actually kind of new. I've seen these around before. So it's like a VR uh, headset and it works with any phone. So I've been seeing these around. Um, the lady in the store, um, her name is Rebecca. She was so sweet. She was nice enough to open it up for me so I could actually take a decent look at it because I, I kind of wanted to like feel it to make sure that you know it was actually pretty good. So let's go ahead. So this is supposed to be, and it feels pretty decent too. So it's like really nice and uh, 
it's not too plastically. So it's supposed to go over your headset like this. And then I guess you put your phone in here and I don't know how to open it right now. Hold on. All right, hold on. So yeah, it's supposed to be a, supposed to be a 3D headset. I don't know how this goes. Maybe I should read the manual. Oh, it slides. Okay, so it slides this way. I don't know how to do this because I can't read. How do you open this? Maybe I should read the directions. I like how it says, do not use if you are pregnant. May have high breath pressure or have a fear of crowds. Heights or crowds. Well, <laughs> well, I definitely have PTSD in crowds, so. <laughs> but I'm in my house, so I should be fine. So how do I use this? Do not use this product while driving, walking, or otherwise. Being distracted from the real world situations might prevent you from avoiding traffic and uh safety laws so how do i use this download install via a uh, vr apps and you would like to use vr remotes so okay but how do i get it out I'm trying to figure this out guys i'm trying to figure it out give me a second so i don't know So I guess this comes out here. Okay, there we go. And then my phone goes in here. So where's my phone? Oh, it's on the table. So I have an iPhone X10 Max. So I'm curious to know if this will fit. It says it will fit any phone. So, oh, it does. Wow, look at that. My phone fits very nicely in there. Do I have a VR game? I should download a VR game just to be on the safe side. I gotta go to the app store and, and download a VR game because I don't think I have a VR game. VR apps, because I don't know if I have any. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to be able to show you guys this, but I mean, it's worth a try. Wow, this looks pretty interesting. Wow, okay, the, I, I see a flaw so far. I see a flaw, and there's, I'm not sure how you're supposed to, how are you supposed to turn it on? Let's see, let's go ahead and do that one. Oh, this one you have to pay for it. Hold on guys, I need to find an app that's free. Here you go, this one says it's free, so let's try it out. My cat thinks the bag is a bed. Oh, it's asking for internet connection. Maybe I could play this one. This is a scary game, and this is the worst thing to do when you're playing a scary game. It's called Rising Evil VR. It's a stimulator game. Simulator, not stimulating. Guys, look at this. This is my cat in here. Look at this. She thinks this is a bed. This is not a bed. Do you, is there a toy in here? Is that why you're going crazy? Oh no, the toy's in here. Okay, please don't go in this bag, Luna. Luna, go in here. Okay, I'm gonna open this thing. I'm gonna move you. Okay. Great, new game, easy, virtual, no input. You must escape, it says. Dude, I'm scared to play this freaking game. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, it feels so real to me. Like, I'm not even joking. Oh. Dude, I can't play this game. I'm, I'm just freaking terrified already. No. Oh, shit. You know what? No, 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 no. No, guys, this thing is pretty cool. I will admit, but I can't do this game like right now. I'm freaking out. I, I need, I'm not freaking out because of, because of, 
I'm freaking out because it's a scary game, and usually I need someone in the room to play a scary game with. I have Saw on the Xbox 360, and I cannot complete the game without someone physically in the room. I don't want to, don't know what it is. I can watch a scary movie with no one in the room, but when it comes to scary games, like it's, I need someone in the room. I might try and play this game without the virtual headset and see how it is. Um, but the virtual headset makes it too real, but I like this. This is pretty cool. This is worth the $5. I would go back and I would buy this for someone else. I would probably buy this for my brother. Um, and, and, you know, matter of fact, I think I'm going to buy him this also for his birthday gift. Um, his birthday's coming up next month. So this is worth it. And it says it fits. It does everything it's supposed to do. I like it. It's 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 very nice and it comes with this cute little stuff too. Um Yeah, it, it does what it does. I like it. I may test it out with some other stuff, but it's it's worth it. I'm I'm very happy with it. I've been wanting to get a VR a virtual a VR headset for a while and you know what? For $5, it does what it does and I'm happy. So, <laughs> but yeah, um you can call me a wuss. It's okay. I don't mind. I accept the criticism, but um, this will go back in here because I don't know where to put it and I don't want to damage it, but this, I like this so much. It's, it's, it's amazing and I'm very happy with my purchase, so. All right, so let's go in here. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to hold this too. It's the little manual, but uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Anyway, all right, so I got some, <laughs> guys, look at this. So I bought this hat, and look, my cat's already in the hat. Come on, man, Luna, this is not yours. This is my hat. This is mine. This is for mommy to wear. My cat is weird. So I'm trying to move this stuff out that's clothes related. Okay, so this is not clothes related. By the way, just, uh, the toy that she was, pro I, I didn't want her to get into just yet because, um, She's savage. <laughs> Are you savage? Yeah, you savage? I don't know if this is a dog toy, but I thought this would be perfect for her because she likes to sabotage me. So this is her uh, her new logo. I think this is a dog toy. It just says it's a pet toy. But yeah, this is her new slogan. I'm savage. And I thought it would be cute. Luna, this is not a toy for you to play with. This is just for me to say what you're thinking in my videos. See? She's savage. <laughs> here, here, you want to play with this? Can you go over here? There you go. All right, so I got some clothes at um, Five Below, and um, normally I don't really buy clothes if I need to save this receipt in case something doesn't fit. So I bought some clothes from Five Below. Usually I don't buy clothes at the store anymore. I usually just do these uh, try at home and um, you know, just return what you don't uh, keep uh, subscriptions because um, I'm a little hefty. Not too bad. I'm I'm between a large and an extra large, and it, it's it's hard for me to find clothes in the stores anymore. So now I just do subscriptions. But I, I I saw these and I thought these were super cute. Like this for sure, I know it was gonna fit me. And I I'm all about the pineapples. All about the pineapples. So I thought I'd get this. I thought that was super nice and it's very summery. So I definitely got the sun hat and I, I I do burn very much in the summer. I have very pale skin and um, anytime I'm in the sun for like maybe like a minute, I, I get a sunburn. It's terrible. So um, these I already know are going to fit me. I got some new sandals. These are for Pride Month. Next month in June is actually uh, Pride Awareness. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am actually bisexual, and I have people in my family who are either they're gay, they're bisexual, um, bi-curious. Um, I don't know if there's anyone in my family that's transgender or gender fluid. I'm not really quite sure. Um, but if they are, I, I, I'm very... I love my family no matter what, and um, my family accepts me for who I am. I like men and women. Um, I am married to a guy, and I love him, so. 
But um, I always support my friends because I have a lot of friends who are gay. I have a lot of friends who are bisexual, bicurious, pansexual, uh, gender fluid, transsexual. I have friends who like to dress up as women and, you know, I, I, I'm all about supporting everyone. I'm, I think that everyone should be treated equally the same. So I did get some stuff for next month and I'm very excited because I am actually going to a gay pride parade um next month i don't know what day it is at the moment but i got some stuff for pride um so i did get these little shorts these are super cute i think these are gonna fit me with no problem but look at the cuteness over here look at that it's just so cute it's the little gay pride flag it's adorable and these were five dollars and i thought they were super adorable for the set and then i normally don't wear these but this is a crop top i got an extra large and it's a uh, gay pride with the flag it says love so i will definitely try this on and i will show you guys the whole outfit but i did want to show you an extra one so with the sun hat i did purchase this um because i do plan on I don't know if it's going to be next year. I don't know if it's going to be this year if I attend an event. But if I go to another anime convention or if I attend an event where we do any kind of anime related uh, meetups, I do plan up as dressing up as Fluttershy. Now, if people don't know who Fluttershy is, Fluttershy is actually from My Little Pony. And I will show you the plushie before my cat just tries to destroy it. So this is Fluttershy. She is actually from My Little Pony. Um, I've been liking uh, the summer colors lately, so I thought it would be nice to actually get like so, uh, the sun hat with this because it does match her hair. And then um, with that, I thought it would be really nice to wear pineapple or I don't know what this is. I'm calling this pineapple or lemon. I don't know, but I also got another pair of flip-flops. Um, with the outfit as well as can I have this can I have this as well as these shorts now like I said I don't know if these are gonna fit me if it does fit me I get to keep them but they did say that I have 14 days to return these so let's go ahead and switch over to the other room where I'm going to try these on and show you the whole outfit of what it's going to be like I said I'm just really excited but it's um actually wait I have a couple more things <laughs> Um, so the other thing I did get was um, these pineapple band-aids. Now I don't know if I could physically use these just because I have a latex allergy. So anything that is rubber latex or actual latex I do get um, rashes or I go into anaphylaxis. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it does not look like it um, but I can open it up to find out. Give me a second. I don't think I'm going to die today. So, let's see. So, these things. So, they don't really have a warning on it. So, I think I'm fine. To be honest, I bought them because they were just really cute. And they have a little groove edge. I don't know if you can see it. But it feels really nice. I, I'm like touching it right here on top and I'm not getting a rash or anything. So I think I'm fine. But I thought it was just super cute. Pineapple band-aids. So yeah. And then this I bought. This is actually used for a one-time use. Um, so the guy at the store was telling me that um, it's already pre-charged and you can use it one time. And it charges your phone up to five hours with talk and text time. And he says he's used it before, and it will charge your phone one time to up to 100%. So I'm going to do a video um, with this. Um, I'm not sure when, but I'm going to do a video where my phone is almost going to be dead, and then I'm going to charge it with this, and then we'll see how long, um, how well it studs up. But I thought this was really nice, so I'm not going to open this yet. I'm going to wait until... You're the one who went over the edge! My cat just... My cat's weird. Now she's going to the bed that I bought her. But anyway, um, I'm going to wait for um, a, vi a time where I'm going to need this and I'm going to do a video um, uh, just giving this a review and seeing how this is because I'm actually interested about this. Um, I did make sure I did get the one that is for the iPhone. So I know it looks completely different than what I'm used to, but uh, it's an iPhone one. So let's go ahead and switch to the other room where I'm going to try on these outfits and show you how they look like. So here is that outfit I was telling you about with the rainbow. So the shorts are super cute. They're actually long enough. And then this shirt, like I said, was a crop top, but it doesn't look like it's a crop top, to be honest. 
it looks like it just goes, you know, just where um, the beginning of this, these leg uh, shorts go to. But I can always just pull these up a little bit and make them not look like crop top. And then the shoes, I don't know how I'm going to show you these shoes. But, I mean, my cat's just trying to terrorize my life. I don't know how I'm going to show you these shoes, but, like, these flip-flops are super cute. So, <laughs> but they fit me very well. <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, I mean, this is a really cute outfit. I, the reason why the tags are still on there is because I want to see how it looks and everything. I mean, I think it's, I think it's cute. I think it's, it's very comfortable. I will admit that. It's very comfortable for being $5 each. And that's one of the things that I look for a lot when I'm buying clothes. And, and there's nothing on the back, apparently, if you can see. But I will say these shorts are very super, these, these shorts are super comfortable and I like that they have the rainbow on each side and it's got this little, well this thing doesn't really do much, but um, <laughs> it's got like this string, but the string doesn't do anything because there's no strings along here. It's just elastic on the sides. Um, I'm not sure, I will have to think about the shirt for a couple days to see if I'm going to keep it. Because um, if I put it in the wash it's going to shrink, but we'll see. But yeah, let me go ahead and put on those shorts and I'll show you what those look like. So before I tell you this, I tried for a good 10 minutes. I cannot get these on. I have big thighs and apparently these are not big enough for my thighs. It's very upsetting because I did the method that, you know, that they show you. They say if your hand could fit in there, like let me zip this. But they're saying, like, if your elbow can fit in there, you know that little life hack that they tell you? Like, they say that if your your hand can fit in there like that, it should fit. But I can't get it on. I may have to try a little bit. What I may do, though, is that you see this, uh, apparently there is not here. Oh, you see this part that's right over here? This part? What I may do is cut into that and actually put some elastic in there. Maybe make it a little bit more wider, but it's, it, it, I can't get it on. I can get it up to here, but I can't get it up to here. So, um, I may just return these. They're super cute. I love these shorts. I've been trying to find more shorts to wear, especially since the summer time is coming around. And I do intend to overheat a lot. And I prefer to wear shorts than long pants at the time. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just return these. Um, that's kind of why I left the tags on as I was trying to try these on because I did not know if you had to leave the tags on. But, um, but again, the flip flops that you saw before, they're just like these. Um, apparently this is not, um, pineapple. This is lemon. So that's fine. I mean, it's, it's super adorable. Look at the detail. For five dollars for this and then this hat which is a lime and it's super cute so i mean th this kind of goes with this outfit a little bit no not really but i mean i'm sure i could find a pair of shorts and maybe a, a yellow tank top or something that will go good with those with those things but unfortunately i i tried to put these on i did get the largest size that they had and it did not work so unfortunately i'm a little depressed about that but it's okay out of everything else that i bought today of the clothes they fit perfectly it's just unfortunately the jeans don't and i had a feeling the jeans were not going to fit in the first place but i thought i'd try because you never know i mean because everything's different every single brand every shape of size is different and this is actually this is this doesn't have a brand name on it but it just says it's Manufactured by Five Below. And my mother's calling. Give me one second. Anyway, as I was saying, um, <laughs> before my mother called me, um, like I said, I, I got a lot of nice stuff from Claire. Uh, I was about to say Claire's. Oh my God. Well, that's because I haven't been at Claire's for a long time for a haul. But um, Five Below, it's, it's good. I like it. Um, so, I mean, if you want to buy clothes, go ahead and buy clo uh, clothes from there. Just make sure that you're choosing the right size. 
but luckily they have a 14 day return policy they said they can give you your uh you can exchange it you can get your money back or you put out a gift card um um i may end up exchanging it for something else i'm not sure yet we'll see um because i i'm not sure if i'm going to be returning this shirt too i mean the shirt's comfortable i like it i just wish it would go a little bit longer only because i'm a little insecure about this area but that's because i'm working on it um <laughs> uh, but yeah i mean like i said i hope you enjoyed this video i loved it it was great going there i wasn't planning on going to five low today but I thought it would be just nice because I was in the area and, uh, Luna, come here. Anyway, yeah, like I said, I went to the store to get her some food and I ended up at Five Below. So, yeah, thank her for this video. Right, Luna? Right? Yeah, my cat, my cat doesn't like it, me right now. She saw a cat at the store and I still wouldn't let her say hi and that's because I'm still waiting for her, uh, waiting for her to be a couple weeks more old for her to get her rabies. Um... Apparently, I did not realize for cats, you have to wait until they're a certain amount of months old for rabies. And people need to stop texting me because it is getting annoying. Uh, I love, like, every time that I'm doing a video, people end up calling and texting me. But when I'm not doing a video or recording anything, no one calls me. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to end this video right here since I am getting a lot of people calling me about tomorrow. Tomorrow is Memorial Day um on my side um this video might not be up before memorial day but uh technically it is one day before memorial day that i am recording this um <laughs> like i said it's gonna be a, just a party with my family just barbecue bringing luna with of course and um she's falling in love with this hat so <laughs> she's falling in love with this hat right now so we're gonna go ahead and end this video um so whenever you see the video, it may come up on Saturday, the week of uh, the, the week after Memorial. Um, I'm not really quite sure. Hopefully I can get it up before Memorial Day, but if not, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe to this video to get notifications every time that I get a video uploaded. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.